No, because Flowers, the song, the music video was so good. But then I put two and two together and I got on TikTok. No, 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 I got to back up. First, it was y'all in my comments talking about Bruno Mars, when I was your man, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, it doesn't sound like when I was your man. Maybe it has the same like melody, but it's a little faster. But then I started listening to the actual lyrics and it literally is an answer to that song. But then once you dive into Pandora's box, the whole thing erupts. And I find out freaking, first of all, the reason they divorced Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus is because the bastard was cheating on her. You may be an Avenger, you bitch, but you're not like a god. Get over yourself. You think Miley Cyrus should stay with you after cheating on her? And then he, not even just once, bitch, with 14 different people, allegedly. And then what does Miley do? She makes a song. No, she films the music video where he apparently was doing the cheating when he would go work out. Mastermind by Taylor Swift was written about freaking Miley Cyrus. Oh my God. Then to take it a step even like more wild, apparently the idiot Liam Hemsworth, or was it Chris Pratt? They all look the same to me, whatever. Apparently the guy she was married to before dedicated when I was your man to her. We all know what that song means. That's a sad song like about how a guy ain't shit and doesn't know how to treat the woman. So why in the world would you dedicate that song to your girlfriend, fiance or wife, whatever? Like that was as a red flag, as red as my shirt. I don't know. That was, she should have never got back with him. But anyway, today we're checking out even more goose eggs, Easter eggs, hidden messages in the flowers. This era of Miley Cyrus. She's gone through so many different phases and each one is just always mind boggling, mind blowing. She's just, a, she's a creative genius really. But in my opinion, I feel like flowers is definitely her most mature, I, I guess, yeah, mature and like self-actualizationing song era whatever you want to call it subscribe when you here like the video help me get to 10k over on instagram it's all on the screen and let's get into miley's creativity and beautiful mind liam's hemsworth a walking l with muscles the first sign of trouble ladies and gentlemen and they thems and everything in between yeah first sign of redness red flag that is run go jump out of a helicopter get away Miley and Liam dated on and off for 10 years. 10 years. On the set of the last song in 2010. So what are you doing down here? My mom shipped me and my brother to my dad's for the summer. Mm. Guess if I could babysit turtle eggs while a volleyball player slash aquarium volunteer hits some air. <laughs> I forgot Miley was a Disney girl. When I think of Miley, I think of some cool rock star or I think of bangers era. I still have to get into pink hearts or, you know, that era i have i wasn't i don't know where i was i think i was in nursing school actually so i've like missed when it comes to miley i'm either bangers or where we are now so there's a jump but i completely always forget yeah she's a disney girl at the end of the day every five seconds <laughs> i mean we're shooting on the beach every day shut the fuck up i don't want to hear you bastard cheater loser exactly how i think it's going to but somehow Rebel it always ends up being better the pair then tied the knot in a secret Tennessee wedding on December 23rd, 2018. It's the best. It's the best. It's, um, you know, I feel so lucky to be with <laughs> Oh my God. Men will, let me not even get into it. But I'm glad that we got to see some clarity and explanation and backstory to the lore that is Flowers. Like, it's not just a song about, though it is about self-love, at the end of the day, this is about an artist's life and Miley's experience. And like, she's somehow been able to turn it into a pop phenomenon, bop, bop, bop. And like, we get to enjoy it too. So one, I think we should thank Miley. Two, I think we should really apply what she has learned and says in the song to our own lives. And three, I think we should remember our worth and don't let anybody play us like we are anything less than that. So subscribe when you're here, like the video, fuck Liam Hemsworth, and I'll see you in the next one.